Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to review some spices from Fresh Jacks. And have some season's greetings right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be able to it. Yeah. So this is going to be an interesting video today because I'm having a bit of an allergy attack. Hopefully there's some cayenne pepper in here and it's going to open up your nose. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can taste, I can smell. It's just like burning eyes kind of thing, a little bit of a runny nose. And it's just like, we've got to change in temperature and stuff, but I'm we'll sorry. get through it. So I'm sorry. My eyes may look a little red and stuff, but. Well, because, and I can't wait because I'm so excited about seasonings on the keto diet, there's so little condiments yep. that I can really enjoy freely that I I really do rely a lot on seasonings to flavor up my food. Yeah, so these are spices and seasonings from a company called Fresh Jacks. Uh, I was talking with them on Instagram and they said, hey, can we send you some? And I was like, absolutely. Heck yes. We love seasonings. They're all organic. They don't have any, any, any caking agents, no mounted extra and any of that kind of stuff in there. So they said, go on the website and pick out five different ones. Uh-oh. So on their website, I've got my iPad over here. It's almost too many to mention. I'll kind of go through them real quick. They have a tofu scramble, maple cinnamon, which that one's got sugar and you can't have that one. Okay. Coconut curry, a grilled master, rosy cheeks, Greek, a garlic herb, toasted onion, taco, peppered hal uh, habanero, citrus pepper, Smoky Southwest Organic Grill Seasoning and Italian, which is an organic herb blend, and the Island Spice, which is organic Jamaican jerk, spicy all purpose, a ghost pepper, campfire, fresh bay, mesquite Just lime, tons. Uh, a spicy popcorn, bold bayou, rosemary lemon, a Thai spice, habanero lime, herbs de province, which is organic fresh French sea salt, uh, keto chop house, which is steak seasoning, a sriracha. Uh, brunch Life, which is an organic everything bagel seasoning. And, oh, neat. Uh, turmeric yellow curry, which is an organic Thai spice. Well, I hope you at least got the keto spice. I got some good ones, I think. Anyway, they also have a bunch of single ingredient, which we're, we're not going to list all of those. And we'll go over the prices and everything in a little but bit. But it's good that they're, you know, putting them and bottling them responsibly. Yes. And using organic ingredients. Because, yeah, they're... Oh, my goodness. There's some... Wackadoodle stuff. So out this there. is like, I guess this was a five pack box. I like the way it ships it's because this makes nice. a gift and gift. And I believe, if I remember right, looking on their website, they do have like gift sets. This would be nice for the holidays. Yeah. So like this gift set, if you were to buy this gift set, it's twenty five dollars for a build your own organic spice gift set. That's really not bad. So that, I think that's actually pretty good. And you they can, have a bunch of different ones you can build your own. They have some where they're all together. They also have a 25 spice set. Uh, they have a 50 piece one. So a bunch of different ones. You could also break them up and give them individually. Little yeah. stocking stuffers. Okay, so these are the flavors that I told them that I wanted. We've got a keto chop house, okay, which good. is a steak seasoning. That seems like the one we have to try, right? And these are, they, they have a, they, have, they come in two sizes. They come in a small and they come in a large. And she said the small one, the large one is basically four sizes, four of the small ones. Oh, okay. That's how much it is. It equals. That's a lot. Okay, so we've got Keto Chop House that we got. We've got the Island Spice, which is a Jamaican jerk seasoning. Oh, good. We got a citrus pepper. Okay. Because I do miss my lemon pepper. Bold Bayou, because we absolutely love Cajun food. Yes, we do. Then we got Greek. That's good for salads and stuff, I would think. And in addition to that, when I was messaging her, I'm like, hey, I know you said pick five, but there's one I absolutely want to try, but I know Rachel will not want it after we try it. And that was the ghost pepper sea salt. Oh, sweet Lord. <laughs> we got to taste that one last. So we're going to taste this one last, but we're definitely going to taste because it. Because I won't taste anything after it. 
So you ready? So where do we want to start? We're just going to kind of take a little taste of each one. I feel like we should start with the chop house because keto. Okay, so this is the steak thing. So I'm going to let you read those ingredients. All right. So it says the ingredients are organic garlic, organic onion, cherry wood smoked sea salt, organic cracked black pepper, organic paprika, organic cayenne, organic rosemary, organic thyme, organic sage, organic ginger, organic turmeric, Organic yellow mustard seed. Wow, that's a beautiful blend. Good blend. Oh my gracious. And you figure if you bought all of these ingredients individually, it be it'd be really more than $5. Um, a serving size is a fourth of a teaspoon, no calories, um, no carbs, and no protein. Okay, so we're not going to go over the ingredients on all of these because that'll make the video forever. But I want to say something about the nutrition label because I believe when I did look at them, they're all zero carb. They're all organic, gluten-free, and kosher. Okay, but with the nutrition label, they're all zero carb. The serving size, like you said, is a quarter of a teaspoon. These are not zero carb. All spices have carbs in it. It's just what is the serving size. Yeah. For example, garlic, when you go look at like, as if you just got one of these bar jars with garlic in it, it's going to say zero carb. But when you get up there, if you do a tablespoon of garlic, that's like three carbs. Yeah. So there is carbs in it. So if you're overdoing, you can't take this bottle and go, oh, zero carbs and have the whole bottle. If you have this whole bottle, you're probably eating five to ten carbs. That's why I tend to like some of the spicier stuff because I'm not going to want to lay it all out. Yeah. So I just wanted to make sure people understand that. Like spices have carbs in them. Like chili powder has carbs in it. Curry has carbs in it. They all have carbs in it. It's just that they make the, sm the uh, serving size very small so they don't have to put that it's got a carb in it. But if you start multiplying up, you're going to have carbs. Those are the hidden carbs we talk about. I used to be so into like Lowry seasoning salt that I would just turn my plate red. Okay. This is beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, that is a nice blend. I don't think there is any way we're going to get that to focus. Ooh, that smells good. But we're going to try. You ready? Yeah. Wow. That is really good. That is delicious. There's something about fresh I got my herbs. water. I actually didn't bring a water, so I will be borrowing. I have a feeling. You that got is, your new blender That mom. is really good. That is really good. Wow. Okay, so next we're going to try the Greek. It's delicious. The Greek is basically for like gyros, chicken salad dressing, hummus, veggie dips, lamb. So you ready? This would taste so good on a steak. Well, I've got a steak thawing out for you, so. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. And it has just enough saltiness to it, right? That is really good, too. That would taste so good on a salad. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, like, immediately. Like, put it in a salad. Mm, that is good. Water. Mm. That's a winner. Bold by you. I feel like that should be towards the back. Yeah, because I'm just afraid that these hot things, we won't taste anything afterward. Okay. And this one is what? Like a... It's this a, is citrus pepper. I'm sorry. It's almost like a lemon pepper. The recommendations for this are chicken, asparagus, seafood, cauliflower, mm. pork chops. That is good. This would taste so good on fish. Yeah. That's good. You got a good blend, sir. Okay, so this one actually, and just it's organic uh, gra uh, cracked black pepper, which is the first ingredient. Onion. These are all organic. I'm not even gonna keep saying uh, organic. Onion, sea salt, garlic, lemon zest, orange zest, lime zest, and then organic peppercorns. It is good. But they all say organic in it. That's got a nice like citrus taste. This is the one. Oh, we're gonna cleanse. This is the one I'm really excited about. So we got Island Spice. It's like a Jamaican jerk. That is not gonna, there we go. We love jerk chicken, jerk, like any kind of jerk food. What was that place we used to go to? With if that, if we are what we eat, are we jerks? <laughs> what was that place we used to go to all the time that Jamaican? Oh, um, it was, what was that name of that place? Over by the mall, by Sawgrass Mall. Oh, like, um, Yes. Caribbean Breeze or something? No, like it wasn't Caribbean Island Breeze. Island Breeze? I don't remember the name of it now. I don't know. It's been so long. I, so, are you ready? Yes. I'll put the name of it on the screen. 
Oh yeah. Wow. 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 That just. You just woke up. Cleared me up. Woo. That is good. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna tell you what you're doing with that right now. You need to make the filling for Jamaican beef patties. Bahama Breeze. Bahama Breeze. That was the name of the restaurant. Bahama Breeze. They had like all like island food. That is incredible. But don't you miss? Ja I miss like, Jamaican beef patties. That was like my favorite thing. So you need to make that with some hamburger. What are the ingredients in that? So let's see. Wow, that is hot. I know. Woof. I can like, I can see better. It like affected my sight. Yeah, my nose is running now. I can see stuff. Organic onion, sea salt, black peppercorn. They're all organic. Allspice, cayenne pepper, thyme, cinnamon, cumin, nutmeg, garlic, and cloves. Yeah. That, all of those flavors are coming through really nicely. Wow, that is awesome. Wow. Okay, so. That is good. Last two. We got, we're getting this spicy. Bold Bayou. Whew, is it going to be spicier than that? All right. Y'all pray for me. That's good. Okay, that hit me in the throat. Yeah, it just hit me in the throat too. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. But it's very savory. You wanna go over the ingredients on that one? Right? It's super savory. Um, everything organic. Paprika, yellow mustard, uh, basil, thyme, cumin, ancho peppers. There you go. That's your throat. Sea salt, sage, onion, garlic, cayenne pepper, celery seed, black peppercorn, nutmeg. I really taste the nutmeg. And a smoked chili flakes. I'll tell you, I mean, that is good. It's not spicier than this. This no. island spice. Oh, Lord. Here it comes. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, my gosh. We've got <laughs> ghost Pepper seasoning. I'm gonna need just a little bit more water. Just a little bit more water, please. I don't think you're gonna need anything to cleanse your palate on this one. Okay. It's a salt, you love salt. This salt's gonna like beat me up though, I'm afraid. Do I need to wait for a second? Because I'm not hurting yet. Wait for it. Oh, it's coming. Wait for it. It's coming like a wave. <laughs> it's coming. Okay, so. Okay, just got me. Woo. In the back, like in the tonsils. As I think you just made it worse with the water. I feel warm in my face now. That is good. But it was good. Like, I'm not. I'll be using that. I, I will be using that because... It didn't make it where I can't taste anything. Yeah. But I mean, my whole body feels warm now. So you want to do our five things? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients, does it keto based on a nutrition label, how does it taste, how much does it cost, and finally, would we recommend it? So number one, the ingredients. The ingredients are awesome. Yeah, the ingredients are really good. I mean, since there's no anti-caking agent in here, I mean, you're just dealing with Organic spices. Yeah. Just the real deal. Yeah, you've got only organic spices with the exception of the one that on there, the maple cinnamon. They don't have any sugars or anything like that in there. But you do have to be careful though because there are no anti-caking agents. Like we live here in South Florida and we have high humidity. You got to make sure that lid is on tight. Yeah, make sure that you're like sealing them up because I know down here if we don't seal them up, we get things like the organic garlic salts and stuff like that. We open it up. It's a brick. Forget to like snap it shut and you come in and you got a brick and then you got to sit there with like a knife and that kind of stuff. So yeah. just make sure you're sealing them up really well. Mm -hmm. So number two, does a keto base on a nutrition label? Absolutely. You're just dealing with clean spices. I would just avoid the one that has the sugar in it. Yeah. So like I said, there's no sugars or anything other than that one maple cinnamon, which it's maple cinnamon. You would expect there to be sugar in there. Yeah. Um, it absolutely ketos. I mean, remember, it does say zero carbs, but zero carbs is zero carbs at a quarter of a teaspoon. Yeah. When you get up to a teaspoon or two teaspoons or a tablespoon, there will be carbs in every one of these spices. Yeah. Okay. So number three, how does it taste? They are awesome. Super flavorful. I mean, I usually want to get spicier things if I'm buying 
fancy seasonings anyway because I want yes. the most bang for my buck. And I have to say, I think the Island Spice is the hottest one. I think it even beats the ghost pepper. I think it does too. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's funny, right? Now, I like the fact we did go online and we chose these. I mean, because again, us, we want something different. I'm looking in there and you can't even see them in there. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, we always like different spices. We would go to the grocery store and be like, where's the weird ones? I don't want just garlic salt. I yeah. want something that's got a whole bunch of different blends in it. So that's what I like about this is they have so many different options. And, if, you know, you may be like, hey, I don't want just another steak blend. I want something really different. Well, they've got it. They've got it. But, man, I mean, this will punch you in the face. But yeah. in a good way. Like, you'll be like, thank you. Slap me again. And now, in addition, we didn't talk about it. But don't forget, they also have just single ingredient spices. And so I'm just going to pull up the website. It's a little slow. The single ingredient spices, a small is $5 and a large is $10. And again, the large is four times uh, bigger than the small one. But you know, if I just go to the grocery store and buy like four dollars McCormick or something, it's... Spices are expensive. expensive. And if you go to Whole Foods, something like that, I think the organic spices there, they're like $5. Yeah. So the prices are really good on the just the single ingredient, like black pepper, garlic, onion salt, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So number four, we were just talking about it with the individual spices. How much do they cost? So the individual spices, we went over the price. And a reminder for the mixed ones, which is kind of where we would go. Yeah. Um, you're looking at $8 for one of these little jars or $15 for the larger jar. At $8, I think they're a little bit expensive. I think it's the little jars are $8. I think the value is in the big jar. But I can totally understand what I would do first, honestly, is buy a five-pack. Yes. And try the different spices. And once you find your spice, like I have a feeling this island spice is going to be our jam. Right. Then buy the big ones because that's where the value is. Yeah, because if you buy the five pack, it's $25. So now you're only paying $5 a jar. Yeah. That's a significant savings because, you know, instead of paying $8 for one, you're only going to pay five. If you go on there, you can kind of pick out the ones you want. Chances are, even if there's one that you don't like, you can give that away to somebody or something yeah. like that. And then once you find the ones you really want, then go back in and get the big ones because that's where your value is. Yeah. I personally would not spend $8 on this, but I would absolutely spend 15 on a large jar of this. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now, as far as like the prices, I, they, I don't believe they gave us a coupon code, but I will reach out to them as we're editing this video and ask them if they can give us a coupon code. And if they do, I will leave it right here along the bottom of the screen. Again, I, I don't know if they will or not. So if there's nothing there, it means they didn't give us a coupon code. Yeah, sorry. So uh, finally, number five, would we recommend this? Absolutely. I mean, the flavor is there because like we've talked about, there's no fillers. There's just like solid ingredients coming through. The flavor is exciting and i am really looking forward to incorporating these into recipes like i can't wait to get this greek on my salad or to have seafood with the citrus pepper like they're all very tasty yeah i would absolutely recommend them um as far as the company i think i'm really impressed with like the fact that there's nothing bad in any of the things i would probably only go with this kind of stuff mm -hmm. i probably wouldn't buy the individual spices but that's just a personal thing i mean i can go anywhere local and get just organic, you know, per, uh, regular individual spices. Like a lot of times we even grow our own, like we grow yeah. our own sage, we grow our own rosemary and that kind of stuff. But I love the different blends, so I would absolutely recommend it. I do have one little complaint that I didn't mention earlier though. Ruh row. Okay, so I probably wouldn't use these so much in recipes. Like okay. I wouldn't make like, you know, a batch of chili and use this. Why? What? Because I just, I want this almost as like a topping seasoning, like a salt kind finisher. of Finisher. As a finisher across the top. Finisher. You know, maybe like taking a steak and putting it on the steak. But I don't know if I would kind of mix it in like to a sauce or something like that. Okay. But if you are going to do that, the one thing I'm looking at is the top is very, very small. I can't get a teaspoon measure in there. I know I that. Know. And because of the way I want to use it, and I think it's how a lot of people like nobody, this ghost pepper is sea salt. What are you going to do with it? You want to sprinkle it over your thing. Oh. But what is missing is there's no little like shaker, shaker top piece. So wow, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. They need to put like a little shaker on top. Yeah. That would be my biggest complaint. But overall, I would absolutely recommend it. And I can tell you like, 
I'm so impressed with these. There's a couple of these. I think I'm gonna go online and buy like a big bottle of this. And I'm getting a big bottle of this ghost pepper. Like I was really impressed with it. This, I, I, the Island Spice is what I'm looking forward to the most probably using. I really, we want Jamaican beef patties. <laughs> like the filling. That's the one place I would probably incorporate it. Like get the meat and then put a bunch of that in there and try to make a Jamaican beef patty. Yum. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you guys have ever tried any of the Fresh Jacks. And if you have, what was your favorite spice blend? Yeah, and if you haven't tried it yet, what would you like to try? And again, this is only a little portion of what they have on their website. I mean, it's a catalog. Yeah, and we again, we'll reach out to them, ask them if they can give us a coupon code. If they do, we'll put it across the bottom of the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, but that is our video for today. So please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.